a trade here. Terrorblade will out push the Beastmaster. Yeah, absolutely. The Metamorphosis is already up. They're ready to go. They need to find a fight. Even without Bruce Split, they're ready to go. This is going to go in and try to slow this thing down. Does a decent amount to clear out the wave, but the illusions are stacking up. This falls so quickly. Disruption's going to give him at least some illusions on the DC side. Smart's uh, coming in again. They'll lose the tower. And here comes Resolution on the backside with a BKB. And Weeha, Sumail in trouble. Doesn't have the split. Not yet anyway. But Weeha getting kited. Resolution finishes offside. Here comes the Universe. He's got it. Nice under by Fear. But Rezo just pops the ultimate. Oh, the heal bomb. PPD. What a play. And the Ravage comes out. Weeha doesn't rage at this point, but another grave. And he gets kited. The Aegis is down. There no is Rat, though. Rezo. Bottom lane, it's Moo. He draws the Terra Blade back, and now they're going to look to chase Weeha. Can he cancel a TP? Doesn't get the Bash auto attack off. Still, the top lane was ratted in while that was happening. Moo takes the melee. DC seizing the advantage here. Misery, the man out in front, has the X just for the safe return. He hits the wave once, then he jumps away, but they have caught him. And Armlet looks like it might not save him this time. With the weave up on top, they will get the kill. He immediately buys back, and they know that this might be their best bet to take not only racks but the game. And here we go. There he is a glimpse. In. Misery trying to slow things down here. Keep DC going while the top lane pushes in, courtesy of the Slark, but Fear, he gets the first lane, Soxa, blinking in for the disruption, then Glimmers himself will purge Fear, keeps the old man at bay, while the creeps still go in, they X him back, Bo comes through, good Sunder, the weeds on the case, Grave is there, can they save the old man? Fear is so low, and he barely survives, the Cyclone coming out from the Brewmaster split, Fear getting chased out, he will fall. DC, they've won more, they've got the disruption on Universe, he blinks away, Rezo, can he fight him in the trees? Meanwhile, it's Moo to the rescue for DC, Pushing that bottom lane in, forcing EG to buy back on the Terra Blade. They scout him with the stop. He walks away from this, but Fear corners him, corrals him, will bring him down. DC with the spread offense, but they're close to getting caught. Universe is on the case. Blake, grab it on three. He got socks and move, locks him down, focuses on them, and will get them two crucial kills. Rezo is trying to push in mid, but there are Terra Blade illusions slowing this shove down. This is a great timing for EG. Not only can they get those kills, they can maybe force up by take they, the Aegis at the very least. They actually have vision on Weeha right now. They have a deep ward. I don't know if they can go for him, and Rezo is sneaking around. Well, Rezo is going to find PPD, who's graved up. Universe is there as well. Samil blinks to the north instead of dealing with Weeha. And Spear's job at this point. 12 Essence Shift stacks, though. He has evasion. If he can heal up in this fight, it would be trouble, but Fear just clotheslines Weeha, crushes the Ursa. They're not split pushing, Mod. EG are starting to get the momentum they need to take that Roche. That's three kills for them. As long as the BKB is up, I don't know if they can kill him, even if they know he's there, but they can Moo? definitely force it out. Oh, I think moo has been spotted. I think he there's, might be able to get out now. Fear gets to the force. There's no Ravage, though, Mod. And here comes the flank. This could be huge. They do find Sumail, they lock onto him, they bash him, they blow him up, he can't get off the split. Dead for 80, no buyback for 60 gold, and PPD now trapped in the trees. They get the disruption too, and all the while it's Misery hitting on the tier 3 mid. They're going to be able to find more, not just that, they will get the kill onto PPD, but maybe not. Resolution taking an air splitter, has to shadow dance, fear blocking him in with the illusions. On the other side, Universe does take Soxa down, and Weeha gets stomped up, but like you said, that mid lane, Misery still going to work. They cancel the Xi TP, he can't come home, but the Terra Blade army is angry, and it does manage to bring down Fuzzy Wuzzy. Universe committing the Ravage, but the Dark Pack from Rezo, he gets out scot-free. Tier 3 down, Catapult just plinking away slowly but surely at the ranged racks. Now two exposed lanes for EG, and perhaps more importantly, DC have stalled through almost the entire duration of the Aegis Maw, and if EG want to push, they're going to have to wait about 20 seconds here, and they do so without the Ravage. And they use the cheese on Universe as well, so both of those Roche items now down, or at least down soon for that Aegis coming out for EG. They do lose three heroes for DC, one of them being a support. Moo going down, obviously. The biggest pick is Weeha. Down for 29 seconds. I thought they could have gotten more done. Sumail, he did end up actually having buyback at the tail end of his respawn timer. Just doesn't feel like Universe has been able to have his customary impact in the offlane Ravage. So difficult to use reliably against double BKB carries, one of whom can Dark Pact it off, the other of whom can just enrage and walk away. You, you look back and you wonder, would a Void have done anything different here? Not the best 
five man high ground hero as he doesn't generally build into a mech or those types of items, but they would sure love to have a chrono now. Not something EG can look back on, but normally when this team does well at TI, it is with Universe. You can see resolution just creeping. It's back to a protected, so if he goes in it. He oh. wants a kill. He wants a kill. He might get killed. Resolution, BKB, he wants Universe. Gets one, two bashes, but now he's caught by everyone. He has a Shadow Dance and get away. The Ghost Ship's coming in. It will miss, it looks like, for the most part. X marks Misery. Now he's caught. The Glimmer Cape, not going to save him this time. He will fall. He does a buyback and instantly Soxa. He wants to cut the wave mid. So too does Resolution. But Zai scouted this with the ward. He knows where the Slark is, and Rezo knows he's spotted as the Shadow Dance is currently deactivated. This is a big opening for EG. Fear has metamorphosis. Ravage is up in 30. Split already at the ready. Buyback from the Kunkka. I'm almost starting to wonder, will EG consider trying to throw it at some point rather than just taking Rax? But they work on the melee here with Illusions. Blip is now down after this. How far do they want to go? Misery just cleaves out the wave. Wow. Oh, dearie me. And the disruption as well. They might get the mid racks, but that might all that's gonna be all they get, I think, at this point. They're backing up together. X bottom lane pushing in in the meanwhile move. What's this rat opportunity? Bruce Blake committed. What Huge stop. stop from Zai. They're going for more and they blow up Saxa. He's got buyback. Misery's low as well. There's the ravage in misery. Will fall. Doesn't have buyback. Weeha getting kited. BKB not saving him. Fear from he's thinking about the throne now. He's hitting tier fours. Meanwhile, Beastmaster going for Megas. Who's gonna take? Resolution is doing his best to kill the back line. Sure, the tier fours are gone. He's got metal. He's got no more metamorphosis. Rezo lives. Fear getting locked down. Roared up. He's forced away. He's got to survive. EG all in now. Best though. Sunder was up, and now here comes Resolution one more time. In range from Weeha. He stays on the Royal Sumail. They'll take him down. The stop saves him. He's Sumail. going for the throne, but he's all in now. The old man wants him. Gets pushed away. Try to get in. They defend the ancient. They All get right. Megas. Who's got buyback? But Slark has it. Beastmaster has it. No buybacks for EG. No ravage Look for at 80. That gold change. It's 6,000 negative gold going the way of EG. They've lost 6,000 after that fight. I uh, think DC could just walk right down mid. They've got Mega Creep. Right fear from Fear. Fear is going all in. Can he pull out in the clutch? It, There's no Ravage here. There is an Earth Splitter to stall. The stomp could be huge. Already Zai slowing things down. But I don't think Fear can really just go for the throne. There's nothing to TP to right now. He's going to have to win a fight. The lanes are too pushed out as well. He has to go through buyback if he's going to TP in or try to get into the base. He will have Metamorphosis, though. They bought that much time. Slark Rapier purchased. He still has buyback. Here come the Megas straight down mid. And Resolution as well joining them. And EG are sitting behind their tier four towers. They know that's the last bastion of hope they have. Sumail is up in 32 seconds. Still no buyback. Saxa, he's found an illusion. He's won. He wants more. But They're building an army, Mod. These illusions turned against EG. They, don't have they can't clear this, I don't think. They do have Ravage soon. 15 seconds, but so many ways to deal with it. The and tier meanwhile, fours, they're falling. Weeha sneaking around. Tier four is down. Digital chaos. Pulling it out. Can EG answer? It's all on Uni now. The glyph is down. Universe, Ravage, PKP perfectly for Resolution. And Weeha straight for the jugular onto the throne, but they stop Rezo. They hold for now. Fear's coming out with the vengeance. Throne low, not dead. It's going to do it. It's going to They take it free. Oh, my God. They have completed their journey. A team that didn't have they had a captain that didn't even want a captain. Players who are booted after winning Shanghai. Misery and Weeha have proved the haters wrong. This team has done it. They go now to face wings, and there will not be a two-time repeat champion at TI6. That was an unbelievable performance. Split pushing with that lineup. Absolutely outstanding decision making all around. After EG took that E home game against Mega Creeps in game one and still won, I don't think many people thought they could lose at this stage, but misery. Cap
captains his team. He's all smiles, all celebration. And that is not a boo, Mott. That is a moo. This crowd loves moo. This young player, this off play player who did so much for them in that last game. That Beastmaster split push in as a whole. Oh my God, what a performance. All oh, smiles yes. here, Paul. Holy Digital shit. chaos. Can you feel it? Oh my God. Oh, Lord, man. Absolutely incredible. What a game from DC. Uh, I think we lived every moment with them through that one, God. Hey, how? Like, <laughs> <my TV? laughs> right? Oh, jeez. How do you cope with that? I have no idea what they're going through right now backstage, but gee whiz, what a game. I just wanted it to keep going on and never end, you know? I'm just. Just more, more, give us more. Just... I was pretty happy it ended, to be honest. I was, uh... Oh. We were all, like, standing up in our seats. We didn't really know what to expect. The rapier was bought. <laughs> Moo with oh, the patience shit. to TP home. Like, he waited for the very last second, whether we're taking the throne to TP home.